Isle of Man TT 2024. Peter Hickman scored his 14th Isle of Man TT victory after Superbike TT race victory on Sunday. Michael Dunlop equaled the all-time win record of 26 held by his late uncle Joey Dunlop in Saturday's opening Super Sport race. On Sunday, Dunlop lead by over 20 seconds on his Hawk Racing Honda at his second pit stop, an issue with his helmet forced him to stop moments after leaving the pits and robbed him of over 40 seconds. He stopped just after St. Minions and actually took his helmet off to rectify the issue before setting off again. But it would be Hickman, who at one stage was facing his first Superbike TT race without a podium since 2018, who would work his way to the lead and emerged with a victory. He was pushed by Davey Todd over the final lap, but the Taz Racing's earlier pit stop dramas would prove too costly and he had to settle for second ahead of Harrison, while Dunlop was fourth. Michael Dunlop did come away from the 2024 Superbike TT with a new race lap record of 135.97 miles per hour, having set the previous best earlier in the race. TT legend John McGinnis set off at number one on the rows on his Honda, but Todd on his BMW led on corrected time through to the Glen Helen split on lap one by 0.037 seconds over Hickman. To Glen Helen on lap two, Todd's lead was down to 1.5 seconds before Dunlop moved half a second clear at Olaf and stretched that to nine seconds on his way into the pits having posted a new class lap record of 135.543 miles per hour. Hickman had worked his way up to second having been battling visor fogging issues, but a sluggish stop by his FHO crew dropped him to third behind Davy Todd and Michael Dunlop through to Glen Helen on lap three. Michael Dunlop was looking unmatched as his lead ballooned to 17.3 seconds over the rest of lap 3, with it standing at 25.1 seconds over Todd when the Hawk Racing rider came in for his second pit stop. It was here where Michael Dunlop's race unraveled as an issue with a side bit on his helmet forced him to stop just after leaving the pits and dropped him to fourth. Dean Harrison, who hooked onto the back of Dunlop on the road over the fourth lap and dragged himself into third, emerged through Glen Helen on the fifth tour leading by 1.1 seconds from Hickman. D.V. Todd suffered a slow pit stop, losing around 20 seconds to Harrison and Hickman, which dropped him to third. Dean Harrison's lead was stable at 1.1 seconds at Bulloff on lap 5, but at Ramsey, Peter Hickman had taken a 1.4 seconds lead. That grew to 2 seconds as he started his final tour and stood at 5.840 seconds at the finish, giving him a 14th TT win and seeing him equal Mike Halewood's tally. D.V. Todd followed Dunlop on the road across most of lap 5, but overtook him and pulled away which vaulted him back into second for his second podium of the week. Dean Harrison completed the podium on the Honda and broke into the 135 miles per hour club for the first time, with Michael Dunlop 15.1 seconds further back in fourth after his helmet dramas. 23-time TT winner John McGinnis was sixth in an attritional race. Obviously, I've got a couple of pit boards around the course, but I just wasn't fast enough. The first couple of laps in particular, I just didn't seem to have the pace. The bike was moving around a lot more than it had done in practice, but to be honest I don't think there was necessarily an issue. I just... I don't know. That was just the feeling I had from the bike. And I just wasn't fast enough to be totally honest. Everything worked pretty well. To be fair, we've been gifted it a little bit, but it is an endurance race. I've lost traces here because of bike problems and other things, so it swings and roundabouts isn't it really. We have been gifted it a little bit, but to finish first, first you've got to finish, said Hickman. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Subscribe, share, like, and vote in the community polls.